This is the uh, Longhorn Magnetic Sweeper. It's a front mount magnet designed to mount on the front of ATVs. It uh, uses a Warren Pro Vantage plow mount system. So you've got to buy this bracket, which comes with these two pieces on either side from Warren. And it mounts on our frame here, and that allows this magnet to be easily mounted to the front of most ATVs. The advantage of this magnet being mounted on the front is the obvious detail that you can pick up the metal debris before you drive over it. So if you've got some type of disaster response situation where you've got the tornadoes and nails need to be picked up everywhere, typically there are ATVs easily available everywhere and these Warren Pro Vantage mounts are available at dealers all across the US and Canada. The magnet is a uh, stainless steel construction. So the sides of the magnet and the front plate are stainless steel. This magnet has what's called wraparound design. So it's designed specifically for off-road use. It has these 10 inch flat proof, flat proof off-road wheels. And it has what's called a wraparound design. So if you pick up metal debris, when it's coming in from the front here and it hits the bottom of your sweeper, those nails, when they get stuck on the bottom of your sweeper, they can actually get wrapped around because the magnet is in the back two inches high and then the bottom four inches long. So when metal debris gets picked up, it won't get lost if you were to hit the ground or something by accident. The sweeper also has height adjustability from one to four inches by changing the position of these brackets on the uprights. It's manual adjustment. Typically people only need to do it once. And then there's this, this uh, top link here, which changes the pivot angle of the entire sweeper. So once you mount it to your quad the first time and you set the height of it from the ground that you want, typically we recommend between about two to four inches sweeping height, you can adjust this top link bar and it'll pivot the magnet so that the bottom of it is level with the ground. The sweeper has got a release handle. So the way that it works is, is you just grab the handle and you push it down. When you push it down during the clean-off cycle, you want to have the magnet lifted off, however, lifted up off the ground. I'll go ahead and show that. So you can lift the magnet up with your winch. You can take this debris holder or catcher that came with it, set it underneath. And then you can go ahead and flip the debris release handle and any metal debris you had will land on this. Then you can use that to transfer the debris into a refuse bin or a scrap bin or however you're disposing of it. So to put the sweeper back into sweeping position after doing this, we put the handles back up and you can pull this out of the way and then set the magnet back down. And then the sweeper is ready to sweep again. The sweeper's stainless steel construction is set on the bottom and back. The magnet that's inside this unit is two inches thick by four inches wide by 54 inches wide solid magnet. So you get lots of performance out of this. The uh, specifications for picking nails are up are on the website. Uh, we chose this magnet because it offered about as good as performance as you could ever need to seemingly drive around with an ATV. We were picking up nails in our test patterns at around 18 kilometers an hour at a two and a half inch sweeping height. The sweeper is really sturdy construction. These are steel tube handles. Um, all of this steel plate, this is 316 steel plate caster brackets. You can see this is quarter inch thick steel, quarter inch thick tube. This is 316 thick steel frame. Flat proof wheels. This is a good all around solution for somebody with a metal debris problem that they're trying to solve, such as a landfill or disaster response. It allows you to use a lower cost vehicle as well. You can pretty much buy one of these front mount magnets and a new ET ATV for the cost of some more expensive tow behind models. I'll just show the release function again. So you can see how easily I'm moving this. You know, I can even, you can even do it with the handle closer here. And it's a good all-around unit for somebody with a metal debris problem.